I'm Tim Creamer, and this is Nisbet Now. Someone once defined the act of budgeting as the allocation of disappointments. Certainly the 2011 and 12 state budget bears that out. One might guess that no school official is satisfied with the amount of state aid allocated to your district. The state aid runs offer up more questions than answers. Even with a restoration of $230 million, schools will still experience a budget cut of $1.3 billion. Now we're waiting for the other shoe to drop. While Albany pats itself on the back for delivering an on-time budget, don't let your guard down. The next battleground is just over the hill. Governor Cuomo has made it abundantly clear that he wants to cap local property tax levies at 2% or the rate of inflation, whichever is lesser. Rent control for New York City area apartments is his most probable bargaining chit. This is a deal that New York City-based legislators will find hard to pass up. Meanwhile, despite plans to freeze or reduce spending, voters in some districts will be asked to consider budgets that contain tax increases. The cuts in state aid are simply too deep. This is especially true in high-need, low-wealth districts with little money in reserve and a dwindling local tax base. This may give fodder to those who are pushing for a property tax cap. But what the public needs to realize is that school districts have to bear increasing costs over which they have little or no control. A cap on what school boards can raise locally, coupled with a state spending cap, will permanently change the economics of school budgets. This situation demands a new set of rules. Therefore, now is the time for the governor and the legislature to agree on a no-nonsense reform package to redefine how school districts can control costs. Let's create rules that direct a greater share of the resources to academic programs and services. Let's not waste resources on things like the Triborough Amendment or last-in, first-out layoff provisions. Revamp teacher disciplinary procedures. Re-examine employee retiree health care contributions and pension costs. And finally, remove excessive regulations surrounding special education mandates and procurement requirements. While you're planning your own budgets back home, NISBA is developing a comprehensive legislative reform package. This will contain data, bill drafts, and supporting materials for lawmakers to use if they truly want public education to be more affordable and effective. Working together, we will regroup, reaffirm our mission, and set forth our plan for winning this next battle.